Hey there, this is our new chicken coop. Uh, I've built a little bit so far, but uh, let's do some more building today and I'll talk more about the details. So I've mentioned before they're expanding our egg operation and we need a bigger coop and we've been using the chick shot which has been great and it's really only rated for like 35 to 40 chickens and we're over 40 and we're pushing it and it's a little tight uh, so we need a bigger coop and I still want to go mobile. I'd like a lot of designs on the chick shot but um, I just want to make it bigger and I think once you get over that size it's going to be really hard to move the coop by hand so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this attachable to my mower off the front. This The chick shot is 6 foot by 6 foot. And this guy is 8 feet by 10 feet. Very similar with the perches and the screen on the bottom. I've opted to use two wheels on each side. Um, and they're in the middle and slightly back because most of the weight's going to be in the back with this, with this nest box here. And I'm going to pull, uh, attach the mower in the front. But other than that, I've built the frame so far. Very similar to uh, Justin Rose's Chickshaw. And, uh, you know, a little bit different in construction design, but it's just, you know, how I like to build things. And so the next step here is we're gonna put supports uh, on the sides so we can put um, the PVC roof material on the top and on the sides. And I'm gonna leave one side completely open and use um, hardware cloth like in the chick shot too. One thing I'm super excited is, is this nest box in the back. Let me show you that. All right, so I've mentioned before that it was really important for me to have a rollaway nest box in my new coop. I am just done dealing with straw and hay and poopy eggs and all that stuff. And there's a couple companies that make these really sweet uh, nest boxes. Um, there was Best Nest Box and Hen Gear. And I reached out to Hen Gear and was asking them questions about their products and we were chatting about YouTube and stuff. And they're, they're like, yeah, we'll send you one. I'm like, awesome. So. I, you know, I'm not sponsored by them, but they did send me this for free, and I will give you guys my full review um, after I use it for a while and stuff like that. But it is super cool, um, and the ones I've seen out there, I think are kind of all designed pretty similarly. The hens lay in here, and the eggs roll down, and then collect under here. You can build these, uh, there's some guys that build these out of wood, and you know, I, I think you definitely save some money there, but I just put this together, I didn't really have to think about it, and it's probably a little bit lighter weight uh, than if you were building a solid of wood, and with a mobile coop, I think that's super important. They come in different widths, uh, you can get them two feet, four feet, this is the six foot version, it's called their XL, and they say the capacity is about 75 hens, so I'm building this for about 75 to 80 hens, so it's absolutely perfect. So I'm just super excited about having a rollaway nest box, for the, the reasons I mentioned before, I'm just sick of dirty eggs, we don't really wash our eggs, so... Uh, if we can help it and you know the cleaner the egg the better. I also you know have issues with hens um, You know if, a, if an egg breaks they're just in there eating it and making a mess and you know It's just gross so I think this will help a lot now these nest boxes uh, They're reversible so if you want to mount them inside the coop um, The nest collection or the egg collection thing can be on the front as well um, it, It's either way and so I didn't want to go in the coop So I, I reversed it and it, they're made to go either way and that way I don't have to go in the coop at all I'm gonna eventually have to put a um, some sort of flap or door here so that I can still get in there. I gotta keep it covered, obviously, but to get in there, th that way there's literally no reason that I have to go in there. And then there is a, a bar in the front here to lift up uh, so you can close it out and keep the hens out of the box. But again, because it'll be accessible from the back, I don't have to go in the coop, which is which is awesome. You know, the uh, I'll leave a link below for this. Uh, as I said, I can't fully endorse it yet because I, I haven't used it yet. I just I literally just put it in and, and mounted it. Um, but it, it's just super cool. I mean, there's uh, this thing here is um, this, the little, uh, I don't know, astroturfy, meshy kind of thing, and it's removable. So you can take that out and like power wash it or clean it. And uh, yeah, it's just, I just, I'm just psyched. This is gonna hold a lot of eggs and uh, it should be great. The other benefit about having a communal nest box like this is that you can actually get more hens laying in there than if you had individual boxes that are like, you know, I think the common box is like one foot by one foot. 
So, you know, this is six feet wide, but you could probably, more than six hens could be in here laying at a time, so um, that's good. And then these flaps here keep it nice and dark in there so that the hens feel comfortable. So, yeah, overall, I'm really excited about this, and most of my design was uh, for the coop was based around having a nest box like this. All right, let's talk a little bit about, more about the design and the wheels here, and I know I'm not done with this coupe, but I'm just, I'm excited about it, so I want to share with you guys. Um, I actually went for a pneumatic tire this time. I know the Chickshaw and Justin Rhodes, who developed the Chickshaw, um, uses a non-pneumatic tire, and I have those on my Chickshaw now, and they're great. Um, I actually, the pneumatic tires were a lot cheaper. These were on sale. I got these from Northern Tool, and I actually wanted pneumatic tires at least to try them out this time because it'll give it a little more cushion as I'm pulling it out. I have really bumpy ground and some just tricky spots, so I think just having um, pneumatic tires will give me a little bit more cushion as I'm pulling it around. But the other thing is, I considered using a, a boat trailer or a small utility trailer as a frame, but I just want to keep this as light as possible because I'm going to be pulling this with my riding mower and I just, I don't want it to be super heavy. So that's why it's all wood construction, it's pretty lightweight, um, the biggest, the heaviest thing is really the nest box. And these are 26 inch tires and they're placed right at the middle and then slightly back and the reason I did that is because most of the weight's going to be in the back with the nest box and I'm going to put some sort of jack or something on the front to keep it from bouncing around. But I originally wanted to just make this, you know, more like a car, just put four wheels on it, but I wouldn't be able to pull, pull it very easily if the wheels were not, not going to swivel at the front. So that's sort of how I wound up with this design. So uh, yeah, got to put some more work in today. I got to, as I said, I got to frame out the sides and the roof and get that all sorted and start thinking about the door and stuff like that. The roof supports in and the Chickshaw has a hatched roof which frankly I never use and I think uh, it's a good idea maybe for a smaller coop but like I literally never go in there and that's I don't know that's just what it is and one of the reasons I used to have to open it was to fill up the amendments like for grit and and um, calcium but I have a different setup for that now so yeah I'm gonna make the roof not uh, not removable, and the reason I designed it this height is I bought eight foot PVC roof panels to do the top and the sides, and so I wanted to divide them into thirds, which is 32 inches, and that'll give me the height for the sides. I just want to minimize the materials for weight and for cost, and that's a lot of the design here. So I don't think I'm gonna write up full plans or anything like this, and I, again, like I can't say that this is a great design until I use it for a while, but eight feet by 10 feet, 32 inches tall from top to bottom, and so now I'm going to put in the vertical support so that I can mount hardware cloth onto it and also the panels on the sides I'm not using hardware cloth so let's do that. I got these pieces cut here, and I'm sort of designing this as I go along, but um, when you design stuff like this, just make sure you keep in mind the end materials you're gonna be covering it with. Like, I'm gonna be using two foot wide hardware cloth, so I need to be able to mount it every two feet. So that's sort of how I'm spacing it out, um, and also with the panel. So keep that stuff in mind as you're designing it. So I got the framing done all the way around. They're just spaced out every two feet. All the materials here are either two by fours or two by twos. And I did make a mistake when I put those um, joists or roof rafters in, I put them the wrong direction. So I took those out and I, I put them in the long way because that'll support the roof panels a lot better. And so two by twos only come in eight feet. So what I did is for those longer spans that run the length of the top of the coop, 
uh, I used two by fours that are 10 feet long and I ripped them into one and a half inch square pieces because two by twos are actually one and a half by one and a half. So that's how I put that together. Uh, the roof panels are PVC roof panels, which is the same thing I used on the Chickshaw. They come in different lengths, but the most common one is eight foot by 26 inch. And the way I designed the top was so it took exactly five roof panels, no cutting. So they just overlay side to side, works perfect. Uh, so literally no waste with that whatsoever. And then I'm gonna use these special screws that are for screwing down roof panels. They have a little like washer type thing or seal, seal thing on the top. Um, and so I'll, I'll screw that down. And then the other thing is I bought this tow bar and I think it was like 60 bucks and this thing attaches to the front and this is how I'll attach this to my mower. I thought this was a lot easier than trying to rig up something out of wood and try to you know support it and everything else. So hopefully this works out pretty well. So I'll probably get those things done and that'll be the end of the day for me. All right, my neighbor just stopped by to help me out. He was pretty pumped to get me help, helping me out with this. So he doesn't want to be on the camera though. So anyways, uh, this is how I've been hooked up. Uh, we have this what's called a tow bar it's on Amazon and then there's an adapter here that I put on my mower. I think it's called a high hitch and then you get a ball and so you can hook up a regular trailer hitch to your mower. So uh, I'm gonna take it for a spin. Uh, this is it. We just hooked it up and uh, let's see how it works. All right, just took it for a spin around the front yard here and it's doing pretty well. I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, I don't think there's many adjustments in terms of the towing and stuff. I think this is gonna work really well. This thing swivels, so I'll probably lift it up so I can get it out of the way, but uh, I'm so far I'm, I'm pretty happy and the mower should be plenty powerful enough to pull this around full of birds. So anyways, obviously it's not finished, but I just wanna show you uh, what I've been working on today and I'll keep you guys updated on the progress and hopefully I'll get it done in the next few weeks and get some chickens in it. So hope you guys like this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.